Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set expectations with your buyers on Fiverr. I'll be covering four common situations that you might encounter where setting the proper expectations is going to ensure you're successful at delivering the completed project and your client ends up being happy and gives you a five-star review. The first is if your buyer asks if you can do something that's not clearly stated in your gig description. This isn't the end of the world, but if they're asking you to do something that you haven't already outlined, make sure you fully understand what this is. Identify whether or not it might take a little extra work on your part and how much extra time might be required to complete this. After you've figured that out, let them know this and if there's going to be any additional costs associated, and there should if this is going to require extra work, iron all that out with them, the price, the timeline, and what they can expect to be delivered. That way, you'll have an easier time delivering a project since you know exactly what you need to do, and they'll be happier with the finished result, resulting in more five-star ratings. The second thing to look out for is if they start talking about whether or not you'll be including complimentary services in your order. Oftentimes, buyers come to expect that certain services will be included based on what they've received from other sellers in the past. If this doesn't align with the way you've priced your gig, you really need to take maybe a couple minutes or even hours going back and forth in Fiverr's chat, fully and clearly outlining exactly what they mean. If you can include these with relative ease and you don't need to be charging for them, great. But if what they're asking goes above and beyond what you expected you'd be delivering and the amount of time you've allocated to completing these gigs, you need to charge them more for this and you should set the expectation now before you get into a you know an endless circle of them asking for more work or more extras where you're not getting paid. The third is if they start asking you questions that you've already clearly outlined in your gig description. This is my absolute least favorite type of buyer. This is a lazy buyer. If your buyer is asking you simple questions like what does your service include? What's your delivery timeline? Or how much do you charge? What does that tell you about them? They haven't even read your gig or your profile. This is a nightmare type of client. Oftentimes they're lazy and they don't want to do the work to make sure they know what they're getting. If you encounter these types of questions, the first thing you should do is send them a link to your gig and let them know that, hey, I've outlined all of the questions you're asking in my gig description and my FAQs. Please make sure you're reading it thoroughly before we decide to work together. If they still are asking questions that you think are clearly outlined, have a conversation with them to make sure you're getting on the same page. They might try to push and rush you to get an order submitted, but you don't want to do this. You'd rather play catch up now versus after an order is placed because after the order is placed, all this back and forth will just be eating into your delivery time to complete and send the project back. The fourth is another nightmare type of client. The person who submits an order with you and just totally ignores your required questions. Oftentimes buyers will message you and ask questions about your service. You'll have a back and forth in your chat and you'll have a general idea of what they're looking for. They'll feel comfortable and randomly submit an order with you and they might leave all your required fields blank. If this happens, you need to push back. Oftentimes buyers will do this because they're in a rush or maybe they're the type of buyer, which I have encountered, where they're going to get your completed project sent back and push back and try to get your work for free by submitting a case with Fiverr, saying you haven't delivered what was explained. If they haven't filled out these requirements, you're really leaving the door open where you have no idea what exactly they want and they can come back and hit you up with revision requests because they're not happy with the completed work. So always, 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 if you get a buyer that submits an order and doesn't fill out your requirements questions, you need to respond saying, hey, these are mandatory for every client I work with. If you can't fill these out or if you won't fill these out, we're going to have to cancel this order. Either you cancel the order or get Fiverr's Re Resolution Center to cancel the order. I know it sucks to lose a deal, but you don't want this deal anyways because it's going to end up giving you problems and probably a negative review. So these are the most important situations, in my opinion, where you need to make sure that you're setting proper expectations with your buyers. Of all the situations I've outlined today, all of them require a little bit of extra work on your part. But believe me, in the end, if you take the time to address these things and add clarity to you and your buyer's relationship together, you're going to benefit from getting many more orders, many more five-star reviews, and many more happy clients. It's a win-win and you really should do it. So as always, 
Thanks again. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the channel. I'm looking forward to getting more videos out to you to help you make more money on Fiverr. Cheers.